In the last few lectures, we learned about different types of modules which we can create in Angular, like the feature module, shared module, and co-modules. We created one of the feature modules in one of the previous lectures of this section, and we called it as dashboard module. Now, in this lecture, let's segregate another important feature of our application into a separate module. In our Angular application, we also have an authentication feature where a user can log in, sign up, or log out. So when I click on this login link, it opens the login component. And using this login component, a user can log into our application. He can sign up to our application. Or once the user is signed up or logged in, he can also log out from this application. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a separate module for this feature in this lecture. Once we will have multiple feature modules, then we will learn about eager loading and lazy loading of modules in our next lecture. So let's recap about the feature module, which we have already learned about by creating another feature module. Let's go to VS Code. And here, in this login folder, for this login component, we are going to create another module. So in this login folder, I'm going to create a new file and I'll simply call it as auth module and this is going to be a TypeScript file in here again let's create and export a class and let's call it auth module now in order to make this class a module class we need to decorate it with ng module decorator and to use this ng module decorator we need to import it from angular slash co now to this ng module decorator we are going to pass a metadata object and in here let's go ahead and let's add this declarations array and in this declarations array we are going to add this login component so only this login component is the one which is related to authenticating a user so i'm going to cut it from here and let's go ahead and let's specify it inside this declarations array so here i'm going to type login component so that we can get its import statement as well okay now in this login component, we are also using the template driven form. So here for this module, we also need to import the forms module. So for that, I'm going to add this import array. And in this array, let's also use forms module. And now in the app module, we can get rid of this import statement because we are not using it here. And we are also not using this forms module in this app module so we can also get rid of this import statement let's save this file now let's again go to this auth module.ts and there in this login component we are also using the loading spinner for that we have a component called loader component right so we also need to declare that here because we want to use that component in the login component now we are already declaring the loader component in the shared module so if we open the shared module there we are already declaring the loader component so we cannot declare it twice so what we are going to do is instead of declaring this loader component in this auth module we will simply import this shared module in this auth module so in the import array let's also go ahead and let's import shared module so when we are importing the shared module with that we will also have access to this loader component and this snack bar component. So we are also using this snack bar component in this login component. So we also need that here. So since we have imported this shared module with this from the exports, we are exporting this loader component and snack bar component. So these two components will also be available here. Now, if you notice one more thing from the shared module, we are also exporting this forms module. Okay, so this forms module will be available in this auth module, but in the auth module also we are importing this forms module. So forms module will be imported twice here and again we will get an error. So since we are already importing this shared module and with that we will have access to this forms module, we will simply remove this forms module from here. Now let's go ahead and let's import this auth module in our app module which is our main module so that the angular application will be aware about this auth module 
so in the imports array let's go ahead and let's import auth module let's save this file and now what we also want is we want to have the auth related routes in the auth module so we have all our routes in router module and we have that router module here so let's open this router module and in here you will see that this route which we are defining it is related to login component so basically it is related to our auth module because using this route only we are redirecting the user to the login page and from there the user can log in or sign up to our application so what i'm going to do is in the auth module here i'll create a new route i'll simply call it as routes and this should be a variable so i'll create it using const keyword and this routes is going to be an array of routes so we need to specify its type as routes and to use this routes we also need to import it from angular slash router and to this we are going to assign an array and in that array let's define the route which is related to this auth module in this case this route so i'll cut it from here so this route is related to auth module so let's go to auth module and there let's create that route and here in the imports array let's import the router module and to import this router module we need to import it from angular slash router and on that since this route is related to a feature module we are going to use for child and to this we are going to pass this routes with this let's save the changes let's go to our application and let's see if everything is working or not so you see there is something wrong in this application let's see what is that so let's open developer console let's go to console tab and here you can see that we have an error can't bind to ng if since it is not a known property that's because in this login component we are also using ng if directive and ng if directive as we have learned earlier in order to use ng if directive in a module we can import common module so here after the shared module let's also import common module because this common module is the one which provides ng if ng for ng class ng style directives and so on okay with this let's save the changes let's go to our application again and now we can see this login form and we don't have any error now let me try to log in using john smith account when i click on this login button it should log us in so you can see we are logged into our application so login functionality is working if i click on this logout button before that let's also visit different pages so currently we are in the over page let's go to the stats page so stats page is also working now let me click on this logout button and we are logged out from the application so the authentication functionality is still working the only thing which we have done is we have created a separate module for the authentication feature and here since we are not using this forms module let's remove this import statement from here so now we have created a separate feature module for auth related things and these are some important points to remember when working with feature module first of all in a feature module we declare all the related components directives pipe etc which we want to use for that feature then when we declare components directives modules in a feature module and if those components directives pipes etc are not being used outside of that module we don't need to export it we have already seen it in our previous lecture also when we define a separate route for a feature module the components which we are using in that route must be declared in the feature module and this also we have seen in one of the lectures of this course so these are the three main points which you need to remember when working with feature module this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day